Today, oh hi. So I have unexpectedly a day off today and a day off tomorrow. And then I think Monday and Tuesday we have off for the Tomb Sweeping Festival. So um, I'm gonna go into the city and it's already kind of late. It's like quarter after one maybe, but oh, I don't know. I just didn't feel like sitting inside. It's not a terrible day out uh, weather-wise. So I have some stuff I want to kind of check out. I come here and I want to be like, oh, parkour, and just jump. And then, well, I don't, I'll save that for when I actually want to die. I mean, I would jump onto like that. Probably still die though. I've been back in China for over a month. My scheduling, like as far as classes, is about the same, roughly. Um, so I'm still super busy. Even more so, actually, because next month, April 22nd, we have our big HSK. So um, HSK, if you don't know what that is, it's basically the Chinese fluency test. There are six levels. So level one is easiest, six is the hardest. I have to pass four, level four. A lot of work, it's a lot of vocabulary, and I feel like, you know, the school is like supposed to guide us through this process of like studying for it and knowing what we have to study and, you know, just getting us to do well and pass on it. And they are, severely lacking in that aspect. Oh, I think that's the bus I want to get on, but I'm gonna miss it. Um, basically, I just don't agree with a lot of the stuff that they, like, have planned, or like the way that they go about planning things. Like, it's not up to me to try and fix the system as much as I might want to and see the flaws in the system. I guess try and do my best and hope for the best. That's all you can really do, right? to, well I want to go to Zara, it's on the way where I'm going, but I want to go to the pavilion, um, and actually, if you, why are you riding on the sidewalk and beeping at me? That's not, this is not where you're supposed to be, you too. Look at this adorable old man flying his kite. How precious with his little whatever getup he's got. <laughs> so cute. But over there behind me is that building with the big statue of Mao that's actually um, at least partially a um, a museum. I don't know what that big thing. Can you see that like spraying water? I don't know what's going on there. So these old guys are flying kites. I don't know if you can see the line. But like, can you even see, like the kite is literally all the way up there. The guy next to me is like, so tall, like so high. It's Highlands Coffee. I hope you can hear me. I'm talking really low. I don't want to be too, too loud. 
In Chinese, it is Gao Yuan Cafe. I have a very sophisticated map here. So you can see where Walmart is, where the river is, and then you see where the little cafe is. It says Gao Yuan Cafe. This, interestingly, I have to double check because I gotta make sure this is right before I say it. But I believe this is the only American owned business in Guiyang. So I ordered a maybe blueberry cheesecake and an amaretto latte. I got it to stay here. You can have it to go and they can put it in like stuff to go, but I just got it to stay here. And it's really, really cool. I mean, this is like, I don't know, it's nice to come and have like some, something as simple as like a cheesecake that you wouldn't think that you would be something that you miss, but like it's a little taste of home. Also, I just want to add, right now they're playing a jazz rendition of Waterfalls by TLC. So just in case anyone is interested, this is a sign from the outside. So you got to come down. Okay, Walmart is right over there. So you got to come down this way and walk a little bit and the door is right here. I don't know specifically, I got to correct myself. I'm not, I don't know the specifics about whether they're like the only American owned business in general, but I know for sure they're the only American owned cafe. Cause obviously there's big American corporations and stuff here, but as far as like a small, like private, business i think they're the only one but you guys can correct me all of the staff as far as i know they have to be bilingual in chinese and english to work there so everyone speaks english there there's also which is something that like strikes me as odd now but like in a good way there's like a completely separate like separated by glass like smoking section for people that want to smoke while they're eating and drinking which in china is something that you just don't ever see it's owned by an american that's been here for I think like 15 years or something. I'll put up the map again, like <laughs> the very crude little map that I have, but it's like if you're if you're here and you know the area, then it will make sense to you. I'm walking back up to the main road now. It's about like a two minute walk or something from the big Walmart in the People's Square. So it's like very, very central. It's rush hour right now. I'm gonna find a nice little spot to sit my big fat butt and I'm just gonna chill for a little bit. It's 9.17, so I thought the buses ran till 9.30. They only, that one only runs till nine. Yeah, today was a pretty good day. Pretty, ugh, pretty tiring. I'm like, I'm pretty beat, honestly. Um, sir, I'm, I'm trying to do something that doesn't involve babies. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. You gotta be in this city. Can't you just, can't you leave? Can't you leave it alone? Sir. <laughs> I'm like a little bit cold. Don't, don't mind me. Oh, you guys wouldn't have seen it in, in the vlogs, but he got neutered. I, got, I took him uh, about a week after I came back to go and get neutered. He's doing, he's doing pretty well. Can you just, can you not? Bye. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.